And now I bring you to some of the most interesting and sacred areas of the Abbey itself. You can see restoration going on here. Oh, that is not our main port of call. Our main port of call for this one is the tomb and grave of Sir Isaac Newton. The entire thing is in Latin, so you'll have to forget about that. to the next area which is George Stanhope Jacob Comitus Stanhope And this is all being restored for the coronation. Look. Riseback sculptor who made Newton's tomb. to our next area. Two things anyway. Grave of the Unknown Warrior, the only grave that no one is allowed to walk on.
Oh, I thought we have to close down behind you. Okay. All right. Yes. Thank you. made to receive something called the Stone of Scud, Oops. which is uh, the stone on which the ancient Scottish kings were crowned, and beloved King Edward I stole it from them and had this chair made for to receive that stone, because basically he'd already been crowned, but he thought if his son was crowned on the Stone of Scud, as well as in Westminster Abbey, he'd be king of both realms, but it didn't work like that. But yeah, this chair, over the years, has been graffitied on quite a lot, and that was by the boys of Westminster School. And there's a piece of graffiti on here somewhere, and it's the boys' initials, and that he slept a night in the coronation chair. first king of England to commission a lifelike image of himself. Images of kings before that, they pretty much all looked the same. But Richard was a very vain man. He wanted an image of himself. Richard here is the uh, believed to be the creator in England of the pocket handkerchief. He was the first king to use a fork as well, for which he was mocked and accused of being dainty and ladylike. So, yeah. Richard II, Queen Elizabeth I banned William Shakespeare's play about Richard II. And here we've got Elmer Batten, Elmer Batten, and his wife, the coronation chair. The stone was going and brought to England in 1296 has been used at every coronation ceremony since 1308. The stone which fitted in the space below the seat was returned to Scotland in 1996 but will come back to the Abbey for the coronation, as I said, kindly lent to us by the Scottish people. So I hope you all enjoyed that one, guys and girls, and I'll end you with something very precious and sacred. That's it, the unknown soldier.